Television re-entered homes, with videos, false thunders promoted. So I'll take one item here, and this is a heresy that came into the message, and it is concerning television. The prophet of God was dead set against television. Why would Elijah the prophet speak so hard against television? I have here about 120 quotations against television that was spoken by Brother Branham. Why would he be so hard against television? Beloved, it's very simple to understand. Television became the transport service of all perversions upon the earth in Sodom and Gomorrah. Perversion of men, perversion of women, perversion of sex life, perversion of children, perversion of clothing, perversion of music. Everything that was perverted in this generation, television became the transport service to the rest of the world. So the television is an invention of the devil to transport his wickedness, his sin, his unholiness, his unrighteousness, his nastiness from Hollywood, yes, from the lowest nation upon earth. The most corrupted and the most proud nation upon the earth is America, and they indoctrinate the whole world with those corruptions from Hollywood. And when I speak of television, if Brother Branham was here and he knew what was on the internet, and the nasty sins and vices that are on the internet, he would be against the internet just as much. He would preach against the videos that certain Christians take, and they spend as much time in those videos, and some of them look at blue movies. I'm talking about message believers looking at blue movies, and looking at videos, and spending hours upon hours. So that is just as bad as what Brother Branham spoke about television. He lived in the television age when the internet was not invented, so he spoke against that. He spoke against the cinemas, and he spoke against the television. But the corruption of television, many people have not evaluated it. It is the transport service of Satan to carry that nasty, wicked corruption to humble and clean nations in Africa, China, India and the rest of the world. That was the transport service. Listen to me, if you cannot see the evil of that television by what I just said there, you're a blind man. It carries the lust of the flesh, it carries the lust of the eyes, and it carries the pride of life. The television took in everything, and it takes it through the world. And if you claim to be a message believer, and you will steal away and go and watch blue movies, you are demon possessed. If you'll stick your eyes in that, you're a nasty Christian, you don't have one speck of the spirit, and you are not born again. You are a dead hypocrite. After all that the prophet of God established, you have to be a terrible, demon-possessed person, old or young, to have cable TV they want the cable TV so that they can look at the blue movies on it. Yes. And they think that because they are not showing their children that, then it is okay for them to look at it. No. You are not born again. You are not a Christian. You have a devil upon you and you are allowing Sodom and Gomorrah to swallow you up. You have to be full of lust in you to watch on those screens and see those blue movies of man and wife making love and having sex on the screen, naked as they were born. You have to be a nasty believer, a nasty Christian. You've got to be a dead hypocrite. You're demon possessed. And I don't care which preacher allows the congregation to do that. I don't care how close they were to the prophet. I don't care how long they had been in the message, and how much they say that they are looking at censored TV, you have a devil in you preacher, and you have betrayed the people. 
And these seven thunders preachers are the ones that reintroduced the television back into the house. We have witnesses right here. We have a minister that used to preach with them. We have people that used to follow them. We have a deacon here that used to follow them. Everybody had televisions in their homes. When they heard the holiness message, they repented and they're seated here this morning. Oh yes. Brother Branham was dead set against it and the reason he was dead set is because it transported everything that is immoral and everything that is perverted. Everything of the world you can see on that. And if you have your internet and you secretly log on to those kinds of things on the internet service, you're a dead hypocrite. A woman made a child right on the internet. Had her right there making a child that anybody could see. Skin up, naked, made a child that the whole world could see on the internet. You rotten, filthy Jezebel. Jezebel is a holy queen in front of that woman. Yes sir. It's a horrible thing. And for you to be in that internet looking at those things, I tell you, you've got to have a spirit. And for you to buy movies, have them in your house and secretly look at them, it's as good as watching television. Yes, you have the same devil inside of you. Yes. That television got popular the same time that the world came to the age of free love. The age of free love was in the 60s, about the time of the opening of the seals, when those demons were loosed on the earth. And that television carried free love to the rest of the world, to show the whole generation, educate them about homosexuality, educate them about fornication, show them that it is nothing, it is acceptable. They brought those things that were confined to the bedroom right on the screen, right out into the public. That television became a teacher. That television educates the people, and it educates them how to have sex right out in the open in the car parks and how to make love in public. All these people that were backward in the West Indies, backward in Africa, they behave worse than the Americans and worse than the Hollywood stars. That stinking devil got upon them. Like dogs, right in the mall, right in those business places. Stinking hypocrites. This world, God is going to burn it. Yes sir. And he promised to burn it. For, behold, the day cometh, that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn em up, saith the Lord of hosts. Malachi 4, 1. And any hypocrite under this message will burn with it too. Yes sir. People under this message take chances with their souls and act very pious. How could you have your head in a television and come out right? No. You've got to be demon possessed. Yes sir. So he was against that television with all his heart because it was the age of free love, and that age of free love used the media of television and magazines to transport that throughout the world and corrupt Indians, corrupt the Chinese, corrupt the Negroes and corrupt the white man throughout the world. You want to tell me that that thing is of God. And these preachers, when they got the thunders, their thunders told them to bring it back into the people's homes. You are corrupted. Yes. And they made a heresy with it. They found one quotation of Brother Branham, and I am going to read it. All the thunders preachers and all that look at television, they rely upon one quote of Brother Branham to support their television viewing.
and I want to show you that it is the serpent that's twisting the word and twisting the message. It is an evil nature that is grabbing at some excuse to do what is not right, and ignore all that the prophet of God said and want to hold on to one quotation. I quote to you from Question and Answers in 1959. Television one of the most damnable things to the human race. The first question tonight. Brother Branham, I think television is a curse to the world. What do you think about it? Well, ever who wrote it, I'm going to agree with you. They have made it a curse to the world. It could be a blessing to the world, but they've made it a curse. Anything like that, my dear people, is what you look at yourself. If television is a curse, then the newspaper is a curse, then the radio is a curse, and many time the telephone is. See, 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 see. It's what you make out of it. But being that the brother said the other night, that there's hardly any programs on the television anymore, that's too much money. A poor preachers that preaches the full gospel can't afford a program on the television. So therefore, brother said the other night, I believe, somewhere, said, dust off your radio, or somebody, or, bring it back out of the corner and listen to them programs. That's right. But, dear person, ever who you are, I certainly agree with you. It's become one of the most damnable things to the human race. Question and Answers on the Holy Ghost. The 19th of December 1959. They rest on this quotation where Brother Branham said that he agreed with a brother that it is a curse to the whole world. And Brother Branham said, well, it could have been a blessing but they made it a curse. He said, but you know, it's what you look at yourself, and besides that, it's what you make out of it, and there is hardly any program on the television anymore that you can look at. He said, the preachers are too poor to put on a program on the television. So, they took this quotation and ignored a hundred and something, where, Brother Branham said, it's what you make out of it. In other words, they want to take the curse of the world and make something good out of it, when he himself said that there is hardly anything you could look at. Now I am saying that anybody that twists this quote is a heretic, and whosoever bring back a television in the home and preach that, you are a heretic and you are condoning heresy in the church of God. Now you don't read one quotation, but you got to read all of them. Let me take a few out of an hundred and twenty, or I will have you here for a few hours again. I could only read a few of them for you, and when you are satisfied that that is Brother Branham's teaching then we will stop. Now I am dealing with the heresy of bringing back the television into the home. I read. Elvis Presley, a 1947 version of Judas I-S-C-A-R-R-I-O-T. Look at Elvis Presley, a 1947 version of Judas Iscariot, joins the Assemblies of God, Pentecostal, speaking in tongues for the Holy Ghost, and send more souls to torment than all the bootleg joints there's been in the last fifty years. Perverted the mind of little teenage children all over the world, till little girls would grab off their underclothes and throw it on the platform, and him to autograph, so vulgar that they won't show him on the television from his waist down, the way he his body, the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues for evidence. Oh, brother, if the Holy Ghost was there, it wouldn't act like that. 
You know better than that. Certainly not. God loves cleanness and purity and holy. Hebrews chapter 6. The 8th of September 1957. Attracted by television they're not truly born again. And that's what's the matter today. All the nation goes into sin. Whiskey joints. The people getting cold and formal. Uncensored radio programs. Uncensored television programs. And it's so fascinating. And sin is so beautiful until it attracts the attentions of the people. And if they're not truly born again, where their attraction is on Christ and single-minded, they'll go after that stuff. They'll act like those people. And the spirit of that will get on them. It used to be the old Pentecostals wouldn't let their children even go to picture shows. The devil pulled one over on their eyes. He brought the picture show right in the house. That's right. Balm in Gilead. The 18th of February 1961. Is that right? There we are. Anybody that is in a television and have their head in a television is not born again according to the prophet, right on this quotation. You are not born again. If you are taking chances and you are watching television and you are in the internet and in the magazine, or whatever you are doing, it shows you are not born again of the Spirit. So perverted preachers that allow these things in their churches are not born again. To bring back that in the house of God you are not born again. Some people think that they will take the television and they will monitor it for their children, and they would only look at certain things. You are deceiving your own self and you are a hypocrite to your own heart. You know better than that. You will be watching the wrong thing sooner or later. Okay. I'll read here. You are presuming you got the Holy Ghost. You that claim you have the Holy Ghost, and you that's got long hair, and wear your dresses neat and everything like that, and you'll stay home on Wednesday night to watch a program, a television program, instead of going to church to prayer meeting, you're presuming you got the Holy Ghost. For when the Holy Ghost is in there, the love of God is so constrained in you, till you just can't stay away from the people. You that has to be forced to prayer. Presuming. The 17th of January 1962. You don't have the Holy Spirit according to the message of Brother Branham even though you have a long dress, and even though you have long hair, and even though you dress neat and you will stay home to look into that television, you don't have the Holy Spirit. And any hypocrite that will buy a television and hide it in their house and miss church, when everybody is absent from around them, to watch at that television, they are devil-possessed. You are not born again, you don't have the Holy Spirit, and as much as you have read in Brother Branham's message and heard the holiness standard preached here, you will have to be a dead hypocrite to be hiding a television inside of your bedroom and be looking at that secretly. You are a nasty hypocrite and inside of you is full of lust, full of the world. That's the only way that you could do that. All right. It shows what kind of spirits in you. Look what we want. Look at our television. That's what we want. We want some of these comedians to stand up there and turn all kind of dirty jokes, and we stay home from prayer meeting on Wednesday night, or the preacher'll let out early so that you can go and see it, some old filthy, dirty, five or six times married prostitute, cracking dirty jokes, sexy dressed, and carrying on like everything, and you love that better than you love the house of God. It shows what kind of spirits in you. Way of a true prophet. The 13th of May 1962. 
It's not me being hard. It is not I being legalistic. If you condemn me as a legalist then Brother Branham was one. I am saying what the prophet of God said. You got to have a dirty nasty ghost in you to have your eyes in that television. And it won't be long until that television will start corrupting you. Because you will want the styles from the television. You'll want to live like that woman on the television. And those spirits will demon possess you. Oh yes. That shows where the people's hearts are. We've got to move with the word. And today we're getting so slothful. The church is getting so worldly. And so indifferent. And so their minds so muddled up with television. And we love Susie. And some of these old things. And staying home. That shows where the people's hearts are. You can tell them these things are wrong. And they think you're crazy. What is it? Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. See. Oh. The greatest pleasure I know of. Is to be to pray until I can realize that I'm in the presence of God. And recognize it. I think that ought to be the thrill of the church is the presence of the Holy Spirit. Presence of God unrecognized. The 18th of June 1964. I love that so much. Brothers and sisters, this tabernacle is an example of that. And the majority of the people are examples of what Brother Branham said here. Our joy does not come from a television nor sports, nor worldly singing, nor all these things. Our joy is the presence of the Lord. That is why we can spend almost two days sitting in the presence of the Lord. That is why we can sing that song for three quarters of an hour without stopping, in His presence. Yes. And the songwriter said, in his presence, then I am strong, and that song has not grown old. It is our joy, it is our peace, and when you can enjoy the presence of God in the service like that, and you become part of it, and you just worship, and you just weep before him, and it breaks your heart, and you could come out and say, that was a mighty service, and you feel the presence of God and know that he is standing amongst us, then you are God's people, then you are striving to fulfill the holiness message, but Christ cannot come where they have changed these holiness standards. The Holy Spirit has taken its flight from many assemblies. They have grieved away the Holy Ghost, and they must find new entertainment for the people. If they don't find entertainment for the people, the people would leave the church. So they've got to give them back the televisions because the preachers live unholy and the people live unholy. The people became corrupted and the preachers became corrupted. Therefore, when the Holy Ghost is not in the house of God you got to have programs. You got to take them to the sports field. You got to have one of the deacons as a captain. Yes sir. You have to organize hikes. You have to organize camp meetings. And you have to give them the televisions. So now when you live contrary and drive the Holy Ghost out of the house of God. The preacher must substitute programs. When they brought in the thunders heresy. God was offended with that wicked doctrine of perverting the greatest revelation on earth. The Holy Spirit took its flight. Then they had to bring back worldliness in order to keep the people in the church to mind the preachers. Mind these hypocrites. They want the tithes. They want the offering. But they want to lead the people of God to hell. That's the truth too. Satan deceived her by television. And that is just exactly what's happened today. She's been deceived by television, by magazines, by these people, these, all these fine things that they're going out on the streets. Modern girls, 
They look at magazines, and they look at pictures. They look on the streets. They see the clothing in the shops. How Satan, that great instrument of hell has come down amongst the people and deceived them into these things. And the woman thinks she's all right. And she's dead and don't know it. She's far from God. Invisible Union of the Bride. The 25th of November 1965. Television. The very pits of hell. And we just put up with anything that's evil and call it religion. Oh. Well. We go to church. Go right home. Stay home on Wednesday night and watch the television. The very pits of hell. Seven Church Ages. The 12th of May 1954. When you look into a television you're looking into the very pit of hell. Won't never be one in my home God told me not OT do it. We don't have television. There won't be one in my home. Never. You want them. That's up to you. But God told me not to do it. Power of Transformation. The 31st of October 1965. Don't want that evil thing in my house. We rent from a woman that has the television in her house. I never intend to have one in my house. No, sir. I don't want that thing in my house. I'd blow it out with my shotgun. I don't want nothing to do with that evil thing. No, sir. But took a God's power to transform. The 11th of September 1965. Yes, sir. God told his prophet not to have one. He said he would blow it out with a shotgun. But the thunders preachers blow it in. They blow it into the church. These preachers blow it right into the houses of the people. Oh yes. Now there are so many quotations. About a hundred and twenty quotations on television here alone. I would just paraphrase some of these where. Brother Branham is speaking against television. He said. I will blow it out of my house with a shotgun. He say. It's the cause for impersonation. He said. It's controlled by Satan. The television corrupts our children. The television corrupts the world. He said, television is death. Television is dirty food. All that you have on the televisions are dirty programs. He said, you need to sacrifice that TV. Comma. Elvis Presley is a modern Judas and it give false comfort. Hebrews chap. 3 the 1st of September 1957. He said, if you go after TV, shows you are not born again, you have no Holy Spirit. He said, people say that you could have great success by the television but great success is by the power of God and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost not the television. Television is a hellavision. It hinders the blessings of God. Comma. Hollywood took over the pulpits. And that is what happened television took over the pulpits in the assemblies of the message. He said, the Holy Ghost moved out on account of the television. He said, I have none. The church is impersonating the dressing and the hair styles of the movie stars. Comma. There is a television in every house. It influences the soul. I was never on television. Dot. He said, keep away from television. Look to Christ not television. People love televisions and they view it and they love television more than God. It produces madness, 
Television cause sickness and mental insanity. It caused children mental deficiency. And the Methodist had a rock and roll party on the television. He said, you now have the movies in your home when Pentecostals would not go to the theater house. He said, any time you have your head in a television you have no spiritual joy. The pastor allow the television to the congregation in order that he might get pay. The people bawl out the pastor when he don't finish in time for they to go and see their shows. He said, the Pentecostals are lead away by television. Modern events made clear by prophecy the 6th of December 1965. The people are caught in the web of televisions. Television perverts people. He said, people want the television, they don't pray. Comma. It produces unclean fruits. Dot. He said, I am against television. Prostitutes are idolized on television. Comma. Television replaces prey. It replaces church services. Separate yourself from television. The stars have become idols. Comma. Television is rotten. Their eyes were open the 21st of April 1957. Hebrews chapter 2. The 25th of August 1957. He said, a monster's got them grabbed. People are too busy with the television. Too much television they have. They're looking at uncensored programs. The television is unclean. You only have vulgar stuff. Questions and answers the 3rd of January 1954. He said, you're a wandering star if you are looking at television. Watching television manifest the spirit you have in you. Yes, your devil possessed, for you to love the world and things of the world on that television. All that television has is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. Come on, that is what it has in it. And for you to sink your head in a television and look at blue movies, watch those nasty things, and take your pattern to dress, take your pattern to talk and take your pattern for the rest of the things, you've got to have a devil inside of you. Holiness or hell. You're bound for hell. He said, television has deceived the women. He would not sell his birthright for a television. And, he said, your old Adamic nature drifts towards the television. Tell me you could have one in your house now without breaking the word of God. Beloved, all that I quoted there came from about a hundred and thirty quotations against television taken from 1953-1965 about 400 tapes, and they only have one quotation there where they think that they have a point, where Brother Branham says, it's what you make of it. I condemn this heresy as of the devil, I condemn this thing as of the world, and any preacher, whether he claims to preach thunders or don't preach thunders, and bring back that in the houses of the people, and that preacher has one into his house for his family to look at, is devil possessed. I don't care if he is a prophet, if he is a pastor, if he is a teacher or an evangelist or even, God come down, you're devil possessed. You want to tell me that after the prophet spoke on 400 tapes, that these men could pull out one quotation, rest upon it and try to fight everybody that teaches against television. Beloved it shows that you are not born again as preachers, it shows that you don't have the Holy Spirit, it shows that you are a corrupted teacher and all that you could produce is corrupt fruit, right there. Let me ask you children, 
Do you think that the majority of the preachers that preach this message around the world and broadcast thunders could come and quote these quotations on the pulpit, like you hear me quote this morning? Let me hear your voices. Congregation says, no, no, they cannot handle those quotations, it would expose them as hypocrites, and it would expose them as perverters of the message. It will expose their thunders as being from the pit of hell. Any thunders that would bring back the television in the house, bring it back in the lives of the people and in the pastor's house, came from hell. Yes sir, you are not born again. These stinking Hollywood stars bring their bedroom business in the open right on the screen, teach young men and young women, to do that in public teach men how to kiss one another in their mouth, these stinking homosexuals, right on the television, right on the blue movies. I am talking about sex acts friend. I went through New York once in my lifetime to see what it looks like, and I saw a big signboard said, live homosexuality on stage. God will burn America. The prophet of God prophesied that. A little lower down, two buildings away, 25 cents to see a naked woman. Yes friend, a naked female, 25 cents. 25 cents to see live homosexuality on stage. Yes sir. Took me to another place. Only homosexuals living there. Man hugging up man. Kissing them. Holding hands and crossing the street. Only men. A whole big section. Only homosexuals. Took me to a next place. Only lesbians. A big section women hugging up women, kissing them, crossing the streets. They took me to a next place. They said, this is the prostitution area. Said, that is where the Trinidadians come down and get the diseases and bring them back to the Caribbean. Do you think that this world could continue in the state that it is in? God is going to burn it, and any hypocrite that practice that is going to burn with it, even though you claim to believe this message, even though you claim to be a Christian, God is going to burn you together with Sodom and Gomorrah, just like he burned Lot's daughters that did not want to come out of Sodom. Yes, and what we are seeing today is Sodom and Gomorrah. Do you see that Sodom and Gomorrah spirit? Even though they came out of Sodom, that Sodom and Gomorrah spirit was upon Lot's daughters. Did you ever think of that? They came out of Sodom but the spirit of Sodom was still in them. People came out of organization but Sodom spirit still in them. People follow this message but the Sodom spirit still in them. What do you think caused those two girls to go live with their father? It's a sodomite spirit, a spirit of incest, and any man that commits incest, he's got to be devil possessed. You have more guts than a bowley to lay with your own daughter. You're a nasty human being. You make me feel to vomit when you could live with your own daughter. When a mother could live with her own son, I had confessions overseas, a big man came and told me, I have something I've lived with for my whole life preacher, I want to get it off my chest. I said, speak on. He said, I lived with my mother. I asked, what caused you to live with your mother? He said, my father went to the army and I was 17 years of age, and she took me upon the bed and told me to live with her. My brother, that's the world we live in. That's a sodomite condition. That's a spirit that overtook the age. Boy I tell you. It takes plenty guts. You have to be filled with thousands of demons to go live with your mother.
You have to be a nasty human being, not fit to live upon this earth, condemned for hell. Same thing with a man that would live with his daughter. You're a nasty human being. All these things are condemned in the scripture, and the moral law in the Old Testament never changed. It was punishable by death. Yes, sir. All these things are right in the law of God. Incest. I had confessions made to me. People lay with beast. Yes, sir. And it is prevalent. You talk about the wickedness that comes from television. I happened to glance at a paper the other day, and a screen star, she said she is a virgin and she is about to be married, and when they interviewed her and they asked her, are you truly a virgin? She said, I am a virgin as far as the bodily evidence is concerned, but then I had many sexual experiences with my boyfriend. My brothers and sister, do you know what they do today to try to save their virginity? I was shocked to hear that young girls allow men to use them from behind. Buggery and oral sex, and that is prevalent even in this country. I learned from a brother who knows a lot of people in high societies and everything. I could not believe it, and that is their method of trying to save their virginity. Excuse the expression there people, but you've got to know. Buggery. And you hear those rape cases and read of them on the papers, and if you want to know what is going on in the world today you will hear that a man raped a woman and he committed buggery also with her. That is the stinking world. How long is this world going to go on in that condition? God is getting ready to burn it, and if you are a sinner here, you better repent this morning. If you are a hypocrite sitting here, you'd better repent this morning. You'd better get those demons out from inside of you. God will curse it. He will burn it. That's what the Bible said. I believe God. How many believe God? Congregation says. Amen. I believe God. Elijah has already come. He has already preached his message. The next thing on the agenda is a burning. And the televisions, they sent forth all of these vices throughout the world. They get that education. They got it from the film stars. People never used to do that before. No. They got it from right inside of there. And they show you on the cable TV. They show you on the blue movies. Thank God I've never seen one in my life. And I don't care to see none. A man has to be a nasty person. Woman has to be a nasty person to sit down for an hour. Two hours and watch a sex act between a man and a woman. Something is wrong with you. You have a stomach like a kobo, vulture. You have to be a nasty human being friend. All these sort of things. They make kissing like nothing. Teach all those nations that wouldn't even lift their hands and hold their wife's hand in public. They get them so brave. And they carry what is confined to the bedroom outside. Yes. And that is condemned. I am going to read that for you. These things. People condone under the message now. Yes. That isn't nothing. I will give them something here too. The church is eat up with spiritual venereal disease. The church is eat up with spiritual venereal. Of all kinds of isms and everything else. It's wrong. Second coming of the Lord. The 17th of April 1957. And the message followers are eaten up with spiritual venereal disease of isms on the thunders. So that is what caught the followers of Malachi 4. Everything that preaches false thunders. You have venereal disease of isms. 
You drop your germs all about the place.